I've been referring to these guys as Sir Silly Snakes, so I was planning on doing this little bit where I pretended to knight them to make it official. Well, official. <laughs> but it occurs to me that snakes don't have shoulders. So now I don't know what to do. Hey everyone and welcome to Skein Spider. Today we are going to be making a silly snake. So grab your hooks and let's get started. We're going to start by making the body and for that we're going to be using our 3.5 millimeter hook. And we're going to begin with round one by putting six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is six increases, so that means we're going to be putting two single crochet in each stitch from round one. Round three is one single crochet and then one increase repeated six times. For round four, we're going to begin with one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do an increase. And two. And after this increase, we're going to repeat two single crochet, one increase five times. When you finish that fifth increase, there should be one stitch left in your round and we're just going to single crochet into that. Round five is three single crochet and one increase repeated six times. Round six begins with two single crochet and then we're going to do one increase and then repeat four single crochet, one increase five times and finish off the round with two single crochet. After round six, there should now be 36 stitches in the round and then round seven is just going to be 36 single crochet. Round eight is five single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round nine is 42 single crochet. Round 10 is three single crochet and an increase. And then we're going to repeat six single crochet, one increase five times and just finish off the round with three single crochet. In the next round, what we're going to be doing is creating the neck. So to do that, we end up folding this piece in half and one side we use to crochet the neck and the other side is going to become the tail. So to begin round, no, round 11, we're up to round 11 of the neck, we're going to begin with 12 single crochet. After you've crocheted the 12th single crochet, we're going to skip the next 24 stitches. So those free 24 stitches are going to become the tail later. But for now, we're going to skip 24 and we're going to crochet into the last 12. An easier way to do this is to, at this point, just take out your hook. And I'm going to secure that end. And then I'm going to go back to the end of my round and I'm going to count out 12 stitches from the last stitch. 
So the one next to my stitch marker from stitch number one, I'm going to go 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So now I have my 12 stitches here. So if I take my hook and then I'm going to place it back into where I crocheted those 12 single crochet originally, I am then going to fold my work in half, turn it slightly so I'm looking at the right sides of my stitches, and then I'm going to go from this 12 single crochet straight into the stitch where the stitch marker is. Now to avoid a big gap, what you want to do is keep the loop on your hook fairly tight so you don't want it pulled out like this, so you don't want to pull the yarn across. You can see how that's a fairly large loop. Keep that nice and tight, so increase your tension a bit if you need to. And you're going to bring that in close to the stitch where the stitch marker is. And then I'm just going to take that out. And then we're going to single crochet 12 again. So one. And 12. So after round 11, we should now have 24 single crochet in this area here and 24 free stitches in the back area here. So for now, we're going to continue working in this area. We're going to crochet the neck here. And then later on, we're going to come back here, join our yarn and continue on with the tail. So round 12 through to 14 of the neck are just going to be 24 single crochet. Round 15 begins with a decrease and then we're going to do 22 single crochet. To do a decrease, we're going to go under the front loops of the next two stitches. So the front loop is the part of the stitch that's closest to you. Once you've gone under those, you're going to yarn over and pull through both front loops. This will leave you with two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those to complete the decrease. So that's our one decrease done and now we're just going to do 22 single crochet. Round 16 is 23 single crochet. Round 17 is one decrease and 21 single crochet. Round 18 is 22 single crochet. Round 19 is one decrease and 20 single crochet. Round 20 is 21 single crochet. Round 21 is a decrease followed by 19 single crochet. Round 22 is 20 single crochet. Round 23 is a decrease and 18 single crochet. Round 24 is 19 single crochet. Round 25 is one decrease and 17 single crochet. Round 
26, which is going to be the final round for the neck, is just 18 single crochet. And we're just going to finish off with a slip stitch and then we'll need to leave a tail so that we can sew on the head later. Now that the neck's finished, we're going to continue crocheting the tail and we're going to be using these 24 stitches that we skipped from round 11. So what we're going to do is take our 3.5 millimeter hooks and insert that into what was stitch number 35 from round 11. So that would be the last one here. Oops, there we go. You're going to take your body color yarn so whatever colour that may be for you, and we're going to line it up behind the stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through the stitch, and then we're just going to slip stitch. Now this slip stitch is not going to count as a stitch in our round. So to begin round 11 of the tail, we're just going to single crochet into that same stitch. And this is where our stitch marker is going to go. So that's stitch number one. And then round 11 and 12 of the tail is just going to be 24 single crochet. So after the first single crochet, we're then going to need to hop over to the other side and then work into the next free stitch here. And I'm also going to be crocheting over this tail to hide it. And we're going to do the same thing we did when we skipped the 12 stitches here. We're not going to have a large loop on our hook. We want to keep that as tight as we can and bring the head of the hook close to the stitch. And then we're going to single crochet. That's stitch number two. Now, if you still have a little bit of a gap here, don't worry too much about it because we will close that up at the end anyway. And we're just going to continue single crocheting our 24 single crochet for round 11. Round 13 is one decrease followed by 22 single crochet. Round 14 is 23 single crochet. Round 15 is one decrease and 21 single crochet. Round 16 is 22 single crochet. After round 16, we're just going to start adding a little bit of stuffing. We're only going to stuff this section here, so we're not going to stuff the entire neck yet or the rest of the tail. And then once we're finished stuffing, we're going to continue with round 17. Now round 17 is going to begin with a decrease and then one single crochet. And then we're going to do nine half double crochet. Now to do a half double crochet, we're going to yarn over first, then we're going to go into the stitch, yarn over again and pull through. This will leave you with three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over a final time and then pull through all three of those loops. And that's how we do a half double crochet. We're going to do that eight more times, so nine in total. After that ninth half double crochet, we're going to do two single crochet. And then we're going to finish round 17 with eight slip stitches. Now, when you crochet your slip stitches, what you want to do is ease up on your tension a little bit because we don't want to crochet these too tightly. 
If we do, it's going to be really hard to work into these in the coming rounds. So just, especially if you've got a really tight tension, just ease up a little bit. Round 18 is two single crochet, 10 half double crochet, one single crochet, and then eight slip stitches. Round 19 is one decrease followed by 19 single crochet. Round 20 is 20 single crochet. Round 21 begins with a decrease and then we're going to do three single crochet, seven half double crochet, one single crochet and seven slip stitches. Round 22 is three single crochet, nine half double crochet, and then seven single crochet. Round 23 is a decrease and then 17 single crochet. Round 24 is going to be 18 single crochet. And then once we've finished that, we're going to take a moment to stop and continue adding some stuffing. Round 25 is a decrease and then 16 single crochet. Round 26 is 17 single crochet. Round 27 is a decrease and then 15 single crochet. Round 28 is 16 single crochet. For round 29, we're going to start with two half double crochet. Then we're going to do one decrease, seven slip stitches, one single crochet, and then four half double crochet. Round 30 is three half double crochet, one single crochet, six slip stitches, one single crochet, and four half double crochet. Round 31 is a decrease followed by 13 single crochet. Round 32 is 14 single crochet and after that we're just going to take another quick stuffing break. Round 33 is a three half double crochet, one single crochet, five slip stitches, one decrease and then three half double crochet. Round 34 is four half double crochet, six single crochet, and three half double crochet. Mm -hmm. 
Round 35 is a decrease followed by 11 single crochet. Both rounds 36 and 37 are each 12 single crochet, or at this point you can just do 24 single crochet consecutively. After round 37, we're just going to add a little bit more stuffing. And then when we're done with that, we're going to continue on with round 38, which is a decrease followed by 10 single crochet. Round 39 and 40 are both 11 single crochet. Round 41 is a decrease and nine single crochet. Both rounds 42 and 43 are 10 single crochet. And then just add some more stuffing. Round 44 is a decrease and then eight single crochet. Rounds 45 and 46 are both nine single crochet. Round 47 is a decrease followed by seven single crochet. And then both rounds 48 and 49 are eight single crochet. After round 49, we're going to take our final stuffing break. Round 50 is a decrease and then six single crochet. Rounds 51 and 52 are seven single crochet each. Round 53 is one decrease and then five single crochet. And round 53 is our final round. So we're going to cut a short tail and then grab our needles so we can finish off. Thread the tail end through your needle and then we're going to go under the front loops of the last six stitches. So you're going to start from behind the front loop, push your needle under it and forward. And six, and then you're just going to pull on that yarn till the hole closes, insert the needle back into the center of round 53, and then just continue weaving that in through the body to secure it. All right, and then when that's finished, we can go on to the head. If there is a small hole here from where we separated the neck from the tail, don't worry about that because we will close that up at the assembly stage. For the head, we're also using our 3.5 millimeter hooks and we are also going to begin with six single crochet in a magic circle.
Round two is six increases. Round three is a single crochet and then an increase repeated six times. Round four is a single crochet followed by an increase and then repeat two single crochet, one increase five times and finish off the round with one single crochet. Round five is seven single crochet and an increase repeated three times. At the end of round five, there should now be 27 stitches in your round, and then round six is just going to be 27 single crochet. Round seven is eight single crochet and an increase repeated three times. Rounds eight, nine, and 10 are each 30 single crochet. For round 11, I've broken up the pattern into parts A, B, and C, just to make it a little bit easier to understand. We're going to begin round 11, part A, with 12 single crochet. Round 11 part B is going to be worked in the next three stitches and we're going to be using the front loops only. In the first front loop, we're going to do one increase. In the second front loop, we're going to do a half double crochet increase. That's just two half double crochet in that same front loop. So one back into that same front loop and two. And then into the third front loop, we're just going to do another increase. Round 11 part C is just the rest of the round and that's just 15 single crochet and we're back to using both loops. For round 12, we're going to start with five single crochet. And then we're going to repeat one increase, five single crochet, three times. And then we're just going to finish round 12 with 10 single crochet. Rounds 13 and 14 are going to be 36 single crochet. Round 15 is two single crochet and decrease. And then we're going to repeat four single crochet, one decrease five times, and then just finish off our round with two single crochet. Round 16 is three single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. Round 17 is one single crochet and then a decrease. Then we're going to repeat two single crochet, one decrease five times and finish off the round with one single crochet. When you've finished round 17, just take out your hook. And now at this point, if you want to use safety eyes, 
go ahead and insert those now, but we will be crocheting eyes and adding safety eyes to those later on. So you don't necessarily have to do that. Once you've done that, if you're going to, we are then just going to add the stuffing to the head. When you've finished stuffing, we're going to continue on with round 18, which is one single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. And our final round, round 19, is just six decreases. When you're done, just cut a tail and we're going to close this hole up the same way we closed up the tail. And then we're just going to weave this tail end into the head. The next piece we're going to be making are the eyes. And for that, you're going to need your white yarn, your three millimeter hook, as well as your nine millimeter eyes. So we're going to begin by putting a six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is six increases. And our third round, which is also our last round, is just going to be 12 single crochet. finish off and we're going to need to leave a tail for sewing and the last thing we need to do before we can finish off the eye is insert the safety eye so I'm going to be inserting this between rounds one and two come on there we go and that's all we need to do for the eye so you're going to make two of those and then when that's done we can go on to the hat for the top hat, you're going to need your three millimeter hook again, and also two colors of yarn. So I'm using black for the main body of the hat, and then I'm going to be using orange to create a stripe. But you can use whatever colors you like. And we're going to begin the top hat, like we have everything else, with six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is six increases. Round three is a single crochet and then an increase repeated six times. Round four is worked entirely into the back loop. So that's the part of the stitch that's furthest away from you. So round four is 18 single crochet in the back loop only. Rounds five and six are also 18 single crochet, but this time we're going back to working into both loops. Round seven begins with a decrease, and then we're going to do 16 single crochet. Rounds eight and nine are each 17 single crochet. At the end of round nine, we're going to be changing color. So I haven't done the final stitch, uh, single crochet 17 yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that stitch, yarn over and pull through. So I have two loops on my hook but I'm not going to complete the single crochet yet. Instead, what I'm going to do is bring in my next color. So for me, that's a dark orange. And I'm going to line that up behind the stitch and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through those two loops in that color. So that means in round 10, 
which is going to be one decrease followed by 15 single crochet we are going to be crocheting with our new color so one decrease and I'm also going to be crocheting over these two ends so I don't have to weave them in later and I'm just going to snip the black off because we'll need to bring that in again in a moment so continue crocheting your one decrease and 15 single crochet Round 11, still in our new colour, is going to be 16 single crochet. Now when we get to the end of this round, we're going to be switching back to the black. So that means in our final stitch, so single crochet number 16, we're going to be swapping colours again like we've done previously. For round 12, we're going to be swapping back to our black yarn or the main body color that you've chosen to use, whatever that may be. And we're going to be doing 16 single crochet. Once again, I'm going to be crocheting over my two ends here. So I don't have to worry about weaving them in later. For round 13, we're going to be working entirely into the front loop. So that is the part of the stitch that is closest to us. And we're going to be doing seven single crochet, one increase repeated twice. And then our final round, round 14, is eight single crochet and an increase repeated twice. And we're working in both loops this time, not just the front loop. And then we're just going to finish off with a slip stitch and leave a tail for sewing. And that's all our crocheting done. Now we can begin putting our silly snakes together. The assembly for our silly snake is pretty simple. There's not too much sewing to do. The first thing we are going to do though is sew the neck and the head together. Before we can do that, we just want to add the final bit of stuffing to the neck. When you've finished stuffing, we're going to pin the head to the neck. So what we're going to do is line up this final round with 18 stitches with round three. No, not round three. <laughs> the third last round. I can't remember how many we did, but the third last round of the head. So we're going to have 18 stitches in that and 18 stitches in that. And then when you've finished pinning, we're just going to sew the head and the body together. Quick interruption, I forgot to mention that when you're sewing the head to the body, just make sure that the nose part, so this extended part here, is centered in the middle of the neck. So you don't have the nose, you know, on, on this side over here. So you just want to center that, all right? Interruption over, let's carry on with the rest of the assembly. Next, we're going to sew on the eyes. The top of the eyes, so here, are going to sit between rounds five and six. So just start at round one at the top and count your way out till you get to rounds five and six and you're going to pin the top in place there. I've also set my eyes about two stitches apart, making sure that those two stitches are roughly centered over the nose. So that is where we place the, the stitches in the front loop as we're doing the head. And once all that's in place, you're going to begin sewing on the eyes. I like to stop about three quarters of the way and just add a tiny little bit of stuffing and then finish sewing. The last bit of sewing 
that we need to do is for the hat. So you're going to place that wherever you like that on the head. So I'm just going to have it at a little bit of an angle here. But before we can do that, we're going to thread the tail of the hat through our needle. And then we're going to weave this end through the backs of the stitches. So on the underside here until we reach these back loops because that's what we're going to be using to sew the hat down. So you're going to just weave that needle through until you reach the first back loop. And you can also add a little bit of stuffing to the hat if you like, but it's not really necessary. But I just like to give it a little bit of shape. And then when that's done, choose what position you like the hat to be in, pin it down and sew it on. For the next part, you're going to need some red yarn and your three millimeter hook, because what we're going to crochet is the tongue. So we're going to place the tongue just below the nose part. So if you look closely, you can see where we did those stitches in the front loop. So there's the half double crochet increase we did there. And I'm just going to crochet the tongue below that. So I'm going to go into that stitch I'm going to line up my red yarn behind it and then I'm going to yarn over and pull the red yarn through. Come on, there we go. And then slip stitch to join. When you do this part, just leave a tail long enough that you can weave it in later because if it's too short, it'll be difficult to weave in. Next step is we're going to go back into that stitch in the head and single crochet. And then we're going to chain six. Once you've done that sixth chain, we're then going to do a picot stitch in the second chain from the hook. To do that, go into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through again to do a single crochet. And then we're going to chain three. Two. And three. After that third chain, we're going to single crochet into the back bump of the first chain that we did. So the first chain of the chain three, not the original first chain down here that we did. So the back bump is this little bump of yarn behind the front and back loop. So if you look at your stitches from front on, you can see the front loop and the back loop. Turn that over and this little bump here is the back bump. So we're going to single crochet into that. And then we're going to do a second picot stitch also in that second chain from the hook. So where we went into that second chain and did the single crochet, we're going to do that again. So you're going to go into that back loop, single crochet, and then do another picot stitch. So we're chaining three again, one, two, three, single crocheting into the back bump. Oh, I didn't do that well. There we go. And then to complete the tongue, we're just going to single crochet down the rest of the chain and into that first crochet that we did in the head. And then all we need to do is anchor the tongue to the head. So to do that, you're going to go into the head once more, into the stitches of the head, except we're not using the same one we went into, we're going one across. So you can see I've worked into this one here. I'm going to go one across and into this stitch, I'm just going to slip stitch. And then I'm going to cut the yarn, pull up with my hook and then just weave these two ends into the body. To make the nostrils, you're going to thread some black yarn through your needle and then we're just going to pick a stitch in the head, doesn't matter which one, and we're going to push our needle through there and then all we're going to do is, if you find it easier, you can mark out where you'd like your nostrils to be with some pins, but because they're so small, I'm not going to do that. 
And then all we're going to do is go up, push our needle out from above the nose here. And when you do this, just leave a little tail hanging out of the original stitch. So we need that to be long enough that we can tie it off later on. And then all I'm going to do is go down one row or round rather. <laughs> And then across one stitch, I'm going back up the top. And down one again for the nostril. And then if you like how your nostrils look, just go ahead and push your needle out of the original stitch where the tail is. And then just tie those ends together. Snip away any excess yarn and then just push the knot back into the head or you could always use your crochet hook to pull it in and then we're done with the face now what you can do is like I've done with this one here is add some stripes now the way you do that is the same way that we just did the nostril so you're going to thread a length of yarn through your needle go into the body create the stripes tie it off and then hide the knot And that's it. So Silly Snake is now complete. There is one last thing that you can do if you need to. Where we separated the neck and the tail, if there is a bit of a hole there, you can use some of the body color yarn to just sew that up. So do that if you need to. But other than that, we are done for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you did, consider subscribing and I will see you all next week with a new one.